I'm Melanie Ham, and this is HGTV Handmade. Thanks for watching today. We are going to be doing a photography art project. The great thing about this project is that it's super inexpensive. I'm going to show you how to do it on your smartphone so you don't need a fancy camera or anything like that. And then I'm going to show you two different ways that you can display these photos really inexpensively. You can print them from home or you can print them at your local retailer anywhere that has like a photo department. We're going to be spelling out love in sign language. So not just the I love you, but the L O V E for sign language. But let's get going. I'm going to show you all the steps on how to do this. Now I want my photos to be square, so I'm going to go ahead in my iPhone and make sure that it's in the square format, and then um, it just makes it easier for editing later. And then grab a friend or a buddy, this is my husband, and he's helping me take some pictures in that square format with a nice bright back wall, um, something that's got natural light with a window nearby. Make sure your nails are painted so that they look nice. Maybe put a little lotion on. Um, just make sure that your hands um, look nice in the photos. Also, if you have a long sleeve on, maybe pull your sleeve down so that you can see your whole wrist. Keep in mind any jewelry we'll be showing, etc. So then once you're done doing that, I like to use pick, tap, go because it shows you the previews of your edited photo right there on your phone. But any sort of phone editing, picture editing software on your phone is great. So then I emailed the photos, edited photos to myself, and then printed them out on some premium cardstock paper like you see here. I did the layout on picmonkey.com, but any sort of photo, you know, however you like to do this on your computer is great for this project. So I printed these out and then I'm going to use my paper trimmer and trim around each photo. That's why I left a lot of space in between each one so that I would have a white border. Keep in mind, you can have these printed out at your local drugstore. If you don't have a printer at home, that will print nice photos. But this is a really great inexpensive option and um, really fast too. You can get it all done really quickly. So once you are done getting your photos edited, printed out and trimmed up, I'm gonna show you two ways that you can display them. Here are the photos all trimmed and ready to be displayed. And then the first way I'm gonna display them is on some scrap yarn that I have with these tiny clothespins and just string them up on the wall. This way it's really easily interchangeable. That was my second edited version, so I wanted to show you both versions. And then also here it is in a floating frame, which makes it really easy to have different size photo options. And that way, whatever your photo looks like, it will look great in one of these floating frames. So that's a good option as well. All right, so what did you think of that project? I hope that you enjoyed kind of watching how I did that. Let me know in the comment section below if you would do this project and you would spell out love or would you spell out something different? I would love to know what you would do down in the comments below. If you do make any sign language photography art, hashtag HDTV handmade on any of your social posts. I would love to see what you guys make. Also, thumbs up, subscribe, all that good stuff. I've had a great time spending this week with you and I will see you guys again soon. Bye.